Hematological diseases are disorders that primarily affect blood and blood forming organs. Chromosomes, as you may know, are structures made up of proteins and DNA and are found in the nucleus of our cells. It is important to note that recurrent chromosomal aberrations, that is abnormalities of chromosomes, are involved in the origin and development of hematological malignancies. Because of this, cytogenetic analysis, which basically provides us with a genome-wide snapshot of one's chromosomes, has been a standard procedure in diagnosis and classification of these disorders. However, nowadays with the emergence of more advanced molecular methods and their ever more frequent use in diagnostic laboratories, one particular question arises. What importance and value do the conventional cytogenetic methods have in diagnosis of hematological diseases? In addition to answering this question, we also wanted to find out more about types and frequencies of certain anomalies in relation to some diseases. In order to do this, we analyzed cytogenetic findings of 200 patients with various hematological diseases. All of the findings were made over a time period of three years at the Center for Genetics in Sarajevo. So, what did we find out? Well, our results show that the use of conventional cytogenetic analysis is a good diagnostic method for 43% of analyzed patients in whom chromosomal aberrations were detected. In total, we detected 21 different manifested diagnoses of hematological diseases, of which chronic myelid leukemia was the most common one in both sexes. Finally, we discovered a number of novel chromosomal aberrations that were not previously described in the context of certain diseases in scientific literature. All of these anomalies were discovered solely by the use of conventional cytogenetic analysis and include a number of both numerical and structural changes. So, what does this mean in relation to our research question? Well, we can see that the advantage of conventional cytogenetic analysis is its ability to detect clinically relevant aberrations that otherwise local-specific analyses would not be able to discover. Cytogenetics remains the most comprehensive method for assessing chromosomal changes. On the other hand, molecular methods have higher sensitivity and are able to detect small chromosomal changes that conventional cytogenetics cannot discover. So, in clinical practice, because conventional and molecular methods complement each other, they should be used simultaneously for optimal results. Thank you.